Good morning, welcome to a new weekly vlog. I've just got into work, I'm super early. Oh, I put the password in wrong. There we go. Um, I'm super early because I've changed the bus times. So, I either get here 50 minutes early or 50 minutes late. So obviously 50 minutes early is the, is the one to get. I'm sure you really wanted to know that information about my bus timetable, but now you have it and now you know. Do you remember a few weeks ago we had an event and we had like two massive boxes of elderflower delivered which is like one of my favourite drinks ever in the whole entire world. Well we had a whole box of that left and it turns out they go out of date or went out of date like the end of June so we're drinking them. Look at my fridge. Elderflower galore like double layer there of elderflower. We've got Prosecco down the bottom and then elderflower up here as well. Literally. This is my heaven, but I feel like it's going to ruin my love for elderflower because I'm just going to over drink it. Let's put pictures in there, shall we? Dear future husband, if you She's not in yet. Oh, that's all right. I don't want to be the favourite one. <laughs> Good morning. I've just got back from Bethany's, which was nice. I haven't seen her for ages. And Standard had about three cups of tea. We ate watermelon and then we did hair. And look how well her new curler has curled my hair. Like, this never happens. I feel like I need that curler in my life. I can't remember what it was called. It was a Remington one, I think. Revlington? Remington? <laughs> no idea. It works though. I really like it. Like, my hair just never curls nicely, and it actually has. I feel like it looks better in real life than it does on the camera though. I really like it. This never happens. Like, ever. <laughs> but yeah, so we curled hair at like half ten, ten o'clock at night. Standard. But it's really nice to see her, like, everyone has that friend that no matter how little you see each other, you get together and it's literally like you saw each other yesterday. She is that friend. She will forever be, like, my childhood best friend. I love her. But now, I'm actually going to go to bed. It's my day off tomorrow, though, so, lying. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> it's Monday. There's something about having a Monday off that's just really, like, nice. Like, it just feels nice to have a Monday off. Don't know why, just does. I've restarted watching Pretty Little Liars because I'm just like I miss it already, and it's it feels like I'm starting like from scratch, like I don't know anything because it's been literally years since I watched these episodes. It's like oh yeah, I remember that. They've changed a lot of characters as well, like the actors that are playing them. Like Addison's mum changed, Jason has changed, Toby is changed. Everyone's new. I decided today is workout clothes day because they're comfy and I just can't bother. It's a no makeup day and it's a hair up in a weird ponytail kind of day. Um, we've actually got people at the house today, which is annoying because like, you know, you just want to slob around your house, but you have to make some sort of effort because there's going to be people here. My stepdad basically works from home and he's got some people here working with him this week. Brilliant. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. Not. Um, but... That's life and I have to deal with it. I look quite tired today. I've got a really bad sore throat today. I was meant to be going to get some piercings today, but my throat hurts really bad. And like, you know when you've just got really sensitive skin, I'm like, if someone tries to stick a needle through my ear right now, it's gonna hurt way more than it will if I get it done at a later date. So <laughs> that's not happening, I'm gonna rearrange. But yeah, I have no plans today. I'm just gonna chill out and slob out, I think. Yeah. I am. By the way, 
used my ab roller two nights in a row now and my arms hurt <laughs> i feel like i'm feeling it at the top of my back and my arms and like the top of my abs like here to begin with because i can't roll out very far because i'm so weak so i feel like i'm gonna have to work on those bits first before i can roll out all the way to then roll back and obviously work like my lower abs so yeah that's that but i think it's working like i can feel it it's been two days so give me some time <laughs> I've just had the nicest bath, but I'm all glittery now. I used a bath bomb that I got in the little like gift box that I got from the wedding. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it's like the one that's got loads of colours on it. It's like hexagonal. Um, so now I'm very glittery. But earlier today, mum showed me some really old pictures that she had found. So I thought I would show you some absolute beauts of <laughs> Chris and me. So hold on. So this is one of me. <laughs> Look how chubby I was. I was such a chubby child. They used to call me Thunder Thighs. Um, and my grandma, this is my dad's, dad's dad, I was about to say. This is my dad's mum. She sadly passed away just over a year ago. Yeah, but I literally, when I think of her, all I think of is these dresses that she used to wear. And I think I've got her hat on, I'm not sure. It might be Chris's hat. Whatever, but whatever, I was, I was a chunky child. <laughs> Here's one of Chris and my cousin. I think that's Ben. I'm pretty sure it's my cousin Ben. Chris looks so tiny in this. Like, he was such a scrawny child. I was the fat child and he was the really skinny one. He's still pretty skinny, to be fair. He's just, like, long and lanky. <laughs> this one cracks me up. He might hate me for showing you this one, but I think it's absolutely hilarious. He's eating an ice cream, if it will focus on it. Let's go here. He's eating an ice cream and I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. But there's something about baby's feet that I really like. I think I had cute baby feet. <laughs> Is that a weird thing to say? And Chris apparently didn't want to wear trousers that day. So, yeah. Um, I think here I have done my makeup. And I'm, like, looking in a mirror. And I look extremely proud of myself. Like, I look really happy with myself. Also, excuse the fringe. Because this happened because a boy at my primary school... Actually, no, this can't be it. I don't know if that's too soon. Basically, a boy at my primary school cut my hair. So I had to have my fringe cut really weirdly but actually this might be a bit too young for that i just think i have bad hair oh dear but yeah into makeup from a young age <laughs> look little blondie chris was like a little pixie when he was a kid so cute i actually don't know how old he was there probably about two or three two i would probably say cutie not quite sure what's going on there but he looks slightly possessed playing snooker oh he got that snooker table for his birthday it was like one of those foldable ones that you could fold away. Very 90s. <laughs> there you go. That's when my hair was cut. Look how bad that was. So bad. But that was my little school uniform when I was in reception. Little knitted purple cardigan, which I think was hand knitted. Not 100% sure. White socks pulled all the way up to the knees with a little like dress on. And this hanky here. I had a hanky and sucked my thumb for years and I couldn't sleep without it. It literally went over with me and it stank, but I loved it. This is a cute one. So this is me, Chris, Grandma and my dad, obviously sat in the garden. I'm not quite sure what's going on with my hair. It looks like I have a bit of an afro going on or like a mohawk, not 100% sure, but a very cute picture. I do like that picture. Very 90s, look at that t-shirt my dad's wearing, it's Bart Simpson on it <laughs> and these like loafer slippers. They look very much like my Ugg slippers right now. <laughs> This was my first ever pony ride and I hated it. I was petrified. I love this picture. I think it's so cute of me and my dad. So cute. Look at those trousers. I was rocking those trousers. What is it as well with little kids and walking on walls? What is the attraction to that? Every little kid seems to do it though, don't they? Chris on the same wall as well. Double denim. Very trendy, although some people would say don't trust someone who wears double denim. I clearly didn't want my photo taken then. Nope. And Chris in his Liverpool football shirt. He lived in that Liverpool football shirt throughout most of his childhood. <laughs> Look, me and Chris were both white blonde when we were little and then he went ginger and I just went like a dirty blonde kind of colour. But who else had a car like that? Literally my whole childhood, that car. Loved it. He looks like a pixie. This train, my granddad built, like he built that train himself and the track and it was, um, it like ran on its own. It had like an engine in it and everything. 
and like a week or something after he finished building it, it was stolen from his garage and this is the only picture that we have of me and Chris on it. It's absolutely heartbreaking. He spent years building that train and he was so proud of it. We used to, we just sat on it and would go round in a circle like the track. No, the track was like just a straight line, that's it. We just go up and down it. Yeah, devastating when that was stolen, but I love this picture, it just cracks me up. This is another one of my favourite pictures. Um, so this is pretty much sums up my childhood. We grew up, me and Chris grew up with our cousins Richard and Catherine from Huddersfield. We spent a lot of our childhood in the summer and Christmas in Huddersfield. And yeah, this just sums it up. We were always messing about, just playing around. It was so much fun. Oh, the memories these photos bring back. It's so cute. Me in a river, like you do. Having a little paddle. This is so cringe. If you can see, like just under my hand here, that's Emily Moore. And I'm clearly trying to pretend like I'm holding it, but it's not working. And serious fashion going on right here with my long black skirt. I've got a leopard print t-shirt on by the looks of things and a teddy bear cardigan over the top with one of those comb headbands. I lived in that comb headband. It was gold and it just was permanently on my head all the time. But I'm clearly trying to do a clever photo and it, it failed, Cara. Well, well done. Well done with that. Actually, I'm going to blame the person that took the picture because they should have told me that my hand wasn't under it, right? Right. Oh, I love going through old pictures like this. They're so cute. They bring back so many memories. I think these were all found when... Um, <laughs> Chris, asleep. <laughs> these were all found when... Just after my grandma died and obviously my dad went through my grandma's bungalow and found all the pictures. <laughs> it's so funny. It's Chris in a paddling pool. With my dad. So funny. So cute. Oh, I could just sit and look at pictures like this all day. Oh, is there any new ones that you didn't see? <laughs> look at that. Had our face paint painted. I'm not, I think I'm a dog. I'm not 100% sure. I have no idea what Chris is. My dad looks like he's fallen asleep. And we've got a McDonald's here. That would have been a right treat when I was little. And then this is my grandma's, grandma and granddad's house. And they have plates all over the walls. And then all of these here are thimbles. Like, I don't know if it's going to focus on it. They are all thimbles. And she had one of her plates used to play music. I think it was a clock as well. And it would play music every hour. Um, and now my dad's got it in his house. And I was around his house the other day and it did it. And I got very confused. I was like, where am I? Am I here or am I at grandma's? <laughs> I got so confused. Did anyone else just like sitting going through like old photos to bring back like cute memories and stuff? I love it. I've woken up in one of the worst moods. I'm in such a bad mood. Don't know why, but I'm in a really, really bad mood. I'm also leaving early because there's so many roadworks on my way into work that you just don't know what you're gonna get. So it's better to leave early. Also, a spider invaded my personal shower space today and I proper freaked out. Why do they do this? Like, I don't care if you're in the bathroom, just don't come into my shower space. Like my personal naked space, do not enter it because you will die. It died. I am so ready for today to be over already. This is a great start, isn't it? Great start to Tuesday. I think I just need like a nice big cuddle. <laughs> Cupboard chats above the microwave, if you can hear me. I don't know if you can, because it's going. Maybe I should wait for the microwave to stop. Hold on. Okay, the microwave has stopped. I can talk to you now. Look how short I am. <laughs> well, the cupboard's just really high up. Uh, Basically, I'm talking to you now because I've just had a phone call to confirm everything. So I can tell you what's going on, although I'm pretty sure most of you have guessed it. I am moving to London at the beginning of August. I'm transferring within the company that I work for. I'm so excited, you have no idea. Like, this is what I need. I need a big change in my life that's gonna push me to be the best I can be and to come out of my comfort zone and to just become like, myself again because things like this never used to scare me and it petrifies me i'm so scared but i'm also ridiculously excited i'm going to be moving in with pippa laurel and becca um obviously you've met pippa and laurel 
Um, you, I'm, I don't know if you'll meet Becca, I, I assume you will, I don't know how she feels about being in vlogs. Um, they need to get used to it. Laurel also has weekly vlogs, I don't know if she still does, so I'm going to link her channel down below and I'll link Pippa's, but I'm pretty sure most of you follow Pippa as well. So I'll link their channels so you can go and check out who I'm going to be living with. And yeah, I'm so excited. So my week off in August, as far as I'm aware, I will be moving to London to start a new life and it cannot come quick enough although I'm actually so sad about leaving here because we're such a little family here and we've been really close and obviously myself and Hannah have worked together for six years so this is a big change and I'm going to be like working with a completely different team um, same job role but elsewhere and I, there's going to be so much more responsibility for me where I'm going so it's definitely going to be a challenge but I feel like it's going to be the challenge that I need and have like craved for so long and I can finally move out like I'm I will be 26 when I move out I'm so excited oh and to top this day off a customer bought us Krispy Kremes yeah and they're my favorite they're the, the cookie cookies and cream one and I've got leftover lasagna for lunch like could this day get any better and Chris is coming over later literally the best day. So yesterday's plans changed and I went to Chris's instead of Chris coming to mine. And we got Domino's and we just kind of had a chill night um, or evening, whatever. Yeah, he just wanted a quiet night, which is fine. I don't mind. Hold on. I told him, I gave him a little update all about London and everything. Obviously he knew what was going on, but um, the job was confirmed yesterday. So I told him all about that. And yeah, just had a quiet evening, which is which I like, I like quite evenings. And I've just had some tzatziki and pita because yum. And I was craving it, so that's what I had for my lunch. We've still got a donut left. And Hannah just texted me, she's at a meeting today and she's coming into work later, she'll be here about three. Um, she just texted me and she was like, oh, I had to run for the train. I was like, well, you can have a donut as a reward. And she was like, no, that won't fit in my wedding dress, but. <laughs> she cracks me up. I feel like I really want to brush my teeth. I feel like I should get like a travel toothbrush to like keep at work. Mm. I was in bed by 9.30 last night and I slept all the way through until Aurora woke me up at like 20 to 4 which she started doing most nights like because she likes to sleep in my room which is fine I don't mind that but at 20 to 4 every morning she suddenly decides it's time to get up now can you let me out so I have to get up and open the door um, and I would I normally sleep with the door slightly ajar so she can open it herself because it doesn't bother me but we have someone staying in the house uh, last night I was like I'm not going to leave my door open because you can just obviously I'm in a bungalow so that you can guarantee he'll like walk past or something so I had to shut my door so I had to get up at 20 to 4 to let Aurora out of my room she is such a princess it is unreal I can't take her with me though to London so I need to get in all the snuggles that I can good morning I look rough <laughs> I don't feel well today at all like I felt like I've been getting ill for a little while, like I've had sore throats, I had a sore throat on um, Monday most of the day and I've just felt a little bit achy and I got home from work yesterday and like I kept having like hot flushes and stuff and I was getting really cold and I was getting really hot and just not feeling well. So I was in bed by like 8pm yesterday and I've woken up today and I feel a little bit better, I think the, help, the sleep did help but I still just I feel like I have no energy, I feel really lethargic. Well, my battery died. And in the time of my battery being charged, I have had a shower, washed my hair, although it didn't really need washing, but I felt like maybe it would make me feel a bit better if I washed it, so I washed my hair. It kind of has, not majorly, but it's always nice to have like really clean hair. Hmm. Um, I've watched too much Netflix, watched too much YouTube. I've had a three hour nap. I still don't feel great, I'm not gonna lie. I need to put a little bit of makeup on um, to make myself feel a little bit better, I think. And this afternoon I'm going to see Bethany again. Um, I'm going to do her hair and I think I'm helping her tan as well. Um, so that'll be, at least that'll be nice and chilled, like I'm not like I'm going to be doing anything too energetic. I was meant to be going to Chris's this afternoon but that was when I was asleep so that didn't happen. But yeah, it's, I don't even know what the time is, like quarter to four. And I'm waiting for a text from Bethany for her to tell me that she's ready and I'm just going to go over. 
then have a chilled afternoon I think and then I need to pack because if you remember last year I house sat for two friends I'm doing the same thing again this year so I'm there all of next week um, the vlog will be uploaded from theirs on Saturday I have no idea what their internet is like I've got a message um, I've got no idea what their internet is like so I don't know how long it's going to take to upload the vlog on Saturday night but we will see that's where we are at today I was hoping to be a lot more productive I wanted to kind of go through some cupboards and stuff and chuck stuff out because obviously I'm not going to be taking all of my stuff with me to London I have a lot of stuff and my room is a lot smaller there so it's not all going to fit fit? that was weird it's not all going to fit so I need to be brutal and selective with what I'm taking with me um, obviously I can leave a lot of it here, it's not like this room isn't going to be my room. And my bed is staying here, so I can store a lot of stuff in that. All of this furniture is coming with me, my storage furniture. But I need to go through my wardrobe and stuff and like chuck out some clothes and decide what I want to take with me and all of that jazz. And then I will be moving like the second week of August. I've got holiday at work for my birthday week from the 3rd to the 13th. I thought it was the 4th to the 14th, but it's the 3rd to the 13th. So Thursday to the following Sunday. Um, so that's when I'm like properly going to be moving. But I'm also going down there next weekend for the party that I was telling, talking about the other week. So I might see if there's stuff, some stuff that I can take down then, um, just so it's already there and it saves me having to do like an extra trip for extra stuff if I'm going down anyway. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. So yeah. But. I better reply to these messages. <laughs> Little outing for my Nike Airs. They don't get out very often because I'm always worried I'm going to ruin them. And also the last time I wore them, or the first time I wore them, I got massive blisters on my ankles that are still kind of there. But I'm taking them out today. And I've just got my Zara hoodie on. And the most minimal makeup you've ever seen in your life. Like literally I have concealer on, powder and mascara and that's it. That's it. My hair's a mess. Nail varnish is chipped and... I kind of feel a bit crappy. <laughs> but I know the beautiful woman that is Bethany is going to cheer me up. I'll stop recording. I pressed the wrong button. Why is my record button? Just realised I said Zara hoodie. We all know it's Topshop and not Zara. And I was pressing the wrong button, by the way. My record button's working fine. Oh, I look like I'm a bit of a mess today. What's going on with this? I think I need to sort my hair out. Um, it's been a while since we've had a car, car, a car rant, driving rant. So, for everyone out there that drives a car, there's things on your car that you can like make tick and light up when you are gonna stop on the side of the road randomly or you're gonna turn off. They're called indicators. Please use them because you drive me nuts when I'm driving behind you and you just randomly start to slow down for no reason, boob shot, and then just stop. And I'm like, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Happened twice on my drive into work today. Yeah. Now on lunch. Um, I've just been to Marks and Spencers to get my lunch. And I also picked up a few things for this week. So they have like a deal on with their pasta and pasta sauces and stuff. It's like five pounds for a big bag of pasta, big tub of pasta sauce and like garlic bread. So I was like, well that would do me like two two dinners and a lunch at work, I would think, because pasta is always, pasta always fills me up really quick, so I never eat as much as I think I need to eat. Um, and then I'm going to go to Tesco's after work as well to get some chicken and some tuna and some bread and all of that sort of stuff, because I was like, I'm not getting that in Marks and Spencer's, it'll be too expensive. I'm really hot today and I feel like I look really pale. Obviously I look more pale because my chest is so red. Also, I feel like my chest looks redder on the camera than it does in real life, but yeah. I've got um, a hoisin duck wrap for lunch, by the way. Mm -hmm. Still drinking through the elderflower. Yep. Not bored of it yet, though. Not bored of it yet. I'm really hot. <laughs> um, I'm house-sitting this week, as you will know if you watched my Snapchat or Instagram stories yesterday. Um, and I've been walking, like, I'm walking in and out of town. It's about, like, an hour walk, two miles. Just got back. My feet hurt. I'm hungry. I'm sweaty. Mm. Really sorry about no vlog on time this week again. Uh, I was obviously very forgetful yesterday because I forgot all the shopping that I did on my lunch and also I left my camera at work. So I couldn't edit the vlog yesterday so that's why the vlog is late today. My feet hurt so bad all I can feel is like my feet throbbing. <sighs> I'm hot. 
So I'm going to put some food in and then start the vlog. Start the vlog? Start editing the vlog. Oh, but I picked up this for my lunch. I'm going to show you it. Because I've been seeing it around everywhere and I, it's just come into the boots in Cambridge. I picked up the new NYX Toto Control like drop foundation. And guys, I'm not like number one, I'm number three. The number one one was way too pale, it was like pure white. So if you have pale skin and find it really hard to find a foundation, go and pick one of these up because the pale one is like white. Um, so number, th number three, which is, doesn't say, I think it's like porcelain nude or something. So like it's natural, a natural colour. So I'm excited to try this. I'm going to try it on Tuesday because Tuesday's my day off. And I feel like testing it tomorrow wouldn't be fair with like walking four miles in the heat. is just probably not a fair test on a foundation. Especially for me because obviously that's not a daily activity that I do. So I was like that's just a bit of an unfair test. So I'm going to test it Tuesday. So make sure you check out next week's vlog for that. Oh my goodness I'm so tired. I need a drink. I need to